Valve is making sure the Steam Deck is as easy to repair as possible. Um, and the way, one of the new ways they're actually doing that is listing all the components inside your actual Steam Deck on the software itself, which is really cool. Let's get into it, Adblaze 2K. If you love the Steam Deck and you love Steam Deck content, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon, because you might just win something. I'll tell you more after the intro. Let's go. Hey guys, before we get to this video, we're giving away one of these amazing folding keyboard and track pads for the Steam Deck. It's my favorite Steam Deck accessory and we're giving away in a couple of weeks. All you have to do for a chance of winning is clicking the like button, subscribe button and bell icon and commenting down below as to why you would want to win one of these bad boys. Also, if you just want to buy one of these things, um, I'll put a link to where you could buy it in the video description and in the top comment of this video. So guys, um, Valve will soon tell you what components are in the Steam Deck specifically your steam deck um the beta feature will help with servicing and repairs by listing component information for each steam deck handheld now there was an issue when the steam deck came out with the fans specifically there was two different models from two different manufacturers for one of the internal fans of the steam deck and one of the fans was like extremely extremely noisy um and people were sending their steam decks into valve to be to have their fans replaced with the newer model of the fan. Um, some people have bought the part from iFixit to replace the fan themselves because it was that bad. Apparently it was really whiny. I think I've got one of the good, and I got my Steam Deck pretty early in terms of Steam Decks. Um, mine was like, I believe Q1 or something like that. Can't remember, but it was like really early in terms of when the Steam Deck started shipping. Um, and thankfully, thank God, I got one of the decent fans. If I got if I got one of the bad fans, it's not really bothered me. So thank God. Um, but touch wood. But um, but yeah, basically Steam is going to be giving you the option or allowing you to see all the components inside your Steam Deck um, through the software, I believe, which should help servicing the Steam Deck or replacing a part yourself a little bit more easier. Now the new beta client update will list the factory installed components within the Steam Deck handheld. Uh, Valve is rolling out a fresh batch of beta updates for Steam Deck, one of which will help with servicing and repairs for the handheld gaming PC by listing internal components and saving owners from cracking the device open themselves to find out. The new component lookup view will display the model manufacturer of each major hardware element within individual Steam Decks. However, the list is only a snapshot of factory installed components and won't recognize or update uh, so won't recognize or update for any fresh hardware that users install themselves. So basically, if you like tinkering with your Steam Deck, replacing the SSD or tinkering with the components yourself, um, this hardware element view will not tell you it won't be like device manager on windows basically it won't tell you if you've if there's a new ssd inside that you've put in yourself it's basically just a snapshot of the factory installed hardware so if you basically have one of the old crappy fans you'll know that you have one of the crappy old fans and you'll be able to go replace it yourself if you want to um Users who have enabled the beta client updates can access the new component lookup via settings, system, and the model dash serial numbers button. The feature will list factory installed components but not recognize any new installations. So basically, if you've updated your SSD inside the Steam Deck, it will not tell you. It will not reflect that in the software. Uh, Valve said that the additional component transparency was being introduced because fans of the system had requested it and mentioned its benefits for customers looking to repair or replace components via iFixit. The exact manufacturer of an individual components can have a surprising effect on the overall system, as was demonstrated earlier this year when the gadget outfitting company Dbrand had to re-engineer its, its project kill switch Steam Deck case. It turns out the case's magnetic kickstand was slowing down the fans in some Steam Deck models, but only those with uh, uh, fans made by Delta, which I believe was the fan that was rather noisy that people were wanting to replace. Um, whereas the Hoying, the Hoying fan was the is the newer model that are now that's now shipping in all Steam Decks simply because it's a little bit quieter and it's more it performs a little bit better, right? Uh, Valve notes that the Steam Deck will continue to use both Delta. Oh, it, it, Valve notes that it will continue to use both Delta and no Hoying fans in the future, and that it's rolled out is. Um, it's rolled in an engineered foam solution on the Steam Deck backplate to reduce noise caused by the specifically the Delta fans, um, I'd imagine. Um, some smaller updates have also been introduced to the beta channel, including including 
the ability to skip boot animations by pressing the B button. That's something. Um, booting uh, something that we can use when we get tired of custom 30 second long boot animations. Support has also been added for user created virtual menu icons and additional controllers such as the Hori Fighting Commander Octa and various third party PS3, PS4 and PS5 controllers. There's currently no word on when these beta, beta features will be released in the full build, but if you want to give them a whirl, Prior to full release, you can enable the client beta by heading into settings, system, steam update channel. So definitely check that out. And one of the surprising updates was the fact that you can now skip boot animations. So if you're like me and you have a custom Simpsons boot animation, you can now skip it by just holding me, which is pretty cool. Um, they're always listening to fans. That's what I love about Steam and Valve specifically, is the fact that they're always listening to what their customers want. What other company does that? On a regular basis right i mean do you hear playstation constantly reiterating their software based on user feedback not really um so it's refreshing it's a taste of refreshing lemons in your mouth <laughs> it's it's really good though um anyways guys i'll see you in the next video on blaze 2k have a great day i love you bye